Hey guys, um, in this video I just want to give a little bit of uh, intuition on carbon hybridization. Um, in a typical organic chem class you usually come across three types of carbon and that is carbon four single bonds coming off of it, carbon with a double bond and two single bonds, as well as a carbon with a triple bond and a single bond. And um, I'll tell you right now, this is sp3, this is sp2, this is sp. Um, just the basis of that, you can you can just memorize that, and you sh usually you'll you'll be pretty good uh, in an organic chem class. Um, they'll usually ask a professor will usually ask you know he'll give you a molecule, he'll pick out one carbon, and ask for the hybridization. And, you know, if it has a double bond and two single bonds coming off of it, you can automatically say it's uh, sp2. Um, but it's always good to have um, a little bit of intuition on why it's sp2 um, instead of just m taking it as it is. Um, and to answer that, you have to uh, uh, go back to your general chem class and uh, remember the... Uh, orbitals of, uh, of carbon's valence electrons. <clears throat> carbon, as you may remember, has four valence electrons um, drawn out like this. Um, S orbital, uh, P orbitals, two electrons in the P orbitals, two in the S orbital. Um, and the basis of sp3 hybridization, which is very, very common uh, with carbon, um, is that these three p orbitals combine with the one s orbital. They basically all mash up, collide, whatever you want to say. But the main part is that they, they put out four equivalent hybridized orbitals which I referred to as sp3. And just looking at the differences, um, if you look at this, if this was the correct uh, model for carbon uh, forming to other bonds, you, you would only be able to have uh, you wouldn't be able to have these four bonds coming off of it. You'd only have be able to have two. Um, so when these all come together, this this is why this is a good explanation for why carbon has four equivalent uh, bonds. It'll it'll bond uh, with another with four different atoms equivalently. Um, that's it. For sp3 right there. 3p orbitals, 1s orbital, hence sp3. Uh, that's basically it for sp3 at least. Um, for sp2, it's uh, more of the same thing. It's it's just one p orbital doesn't combine. Uh, instead, you get this. Sp2. sp2, right? s1, 2p, 2p orbitals, 1s orbital, come together, they'll give out three hybridized, as you can see, they'll come together and push out three hybridized orbitals. But what about that p orbital? Well, that stays the same, it doesn't go anywhere, it's, it's, it doesn't magically disappear, it, it remains uh, here with one electron that it gets and um, you can draw out what it would look like you'd have the three um, hybridized orbitals and you still have this one p orbital left now a p orbital all it looks like is a lobe I have this lobe and it has one electron in it I'm gonna randomly put it in there um, this again this line coming down was just one of the uh, hybridized orbitals 
Um, so it's not in any p orbital. Um, so you can see it has three hybridized and one that one p left with one electron in it. When it comes together with another sp2 hybridized carbon, that carbon would also have its p orbital and it'll have that one electron in there. And this is how they bond, like that. And that's the basis of that double bond. I hope uh, that gives you some intuition on why it's referred to as sp2. One uh, s, two p orbitals come together to form this, which can be represented like that. Um, and the third one, uh, sp hybridized, same thing, basically. Um, instead this time SP what would you think um, by now you probably already know not two P orbitals but just one so this one will combine with this you have two equivalent hybridized orbitals and you'll have your two of these which did not mash up they're still they're still sticking around and so for that representation you have this carbon there's that with those two hybridized coming off of it now you have a p orbital and um it's, it's actually, you have two p orbitals um, coming off, but I'm just going to represent them in one. Um, you'd have to draw another lobe, um, but I mean intuitively you can just say that there's one electron here and one electron here, and uh, they're not really in the s same one, um, but they're in pi orbitals, which are going to be like similar to this. Um, I just didn't draw the other one. Um, but this is just for your intuition and um, you have another carbon that will also have two electrons in pi orbitals and what do you know they all come together to form that which looks like that this triple bond right there um, yeah I hope uh, that gives you some intuition on uh, hybridization, that's basically it. So SP. Um, good luck.